I'm Chuck Pellerito, and we head over to Mason for a wrestling matchup between the Lakota East Thunderhawks and the hosting Mason Comets. We'll kick things off with the 195 pounders, Nathan Webster from Lakota East and Kevin Vaca from Mason squaring off. Good job from Webster to get the escape to start off the second, but later in the period, Vaca would regain control and able to get Webster's shoulder down to force the pin. Jumping up to the heavyweights, Skylar Horn for the Comets facing off with Jalen Ashford of the Thunderhawks. Watch out as the big fellas go at it, a ref gets knocked over, Horn gets control of Ashford's arm, starts walking it over before he finally is able to get the pin. Let's head down now to 126 where we saw Tyler Epstein for Lakota East and Dominic DiTulio for Mason. DiTulio with control early and he's able to get the near fall points. Epstein able to escape but not for long as DiTulio gets the pin just 54 seconds into the first period. Up to 138, Max Boaz for Lakota East faced off with Iverson Sung for the Comets. Boaz shoots and is able to get a single leg, able to get the two points for the takedown. And then still in the first, Boaz has the arm locked in, able to walk Sung over for the pin at the minute 21 mark. Up in 145, Nick Brady from the Thunderhawks fell by pinfall to Wayland West. At 160, Nathan Dagestano for the Comets got the pin on Eli Willis. And we'll finish things off at 170. Max Penix for Lakota East and Corey Shea for Mason squared off. We're going back and forth as Penix quickly got a reversal and turned it into a near fall. And after an out of bounds reset, Penix able to cinch in the cradle to get the pin. Unfortunately for Lakota East, it wouldn't be enough as Mason Comets were able to come out with the win on this one. 